back to my channel. Today I am planning on finishing the Percy Jackson series. I am about 70% through the last book and I've been switching back and forth between the physical copy and the audiobook. I think mostly today I'm going to use the audiobook because I plan on listening to the audiobook while I make some lunch and while I clean out my desk drawer. So hopefully I'll get a good chunk of reading done while I do that and then we'll see where I end up. Um, and then once I'm done with this, which I'm kind of sad that I'm almost done with this series because I am not ready to say goodbye to Percy, but um, anyway, the plan is once I'm done with this, I am going to start a new series. Well, it's not new, but it's um, it'll be my first time reading it. Um, actually, I've read the first book before. I think I read it back in 2018 or 2019, something like that. Um, but I really don't remember it very well. But I asked you guys on Bookstagram what your favorite series are because after reading Percy Jackson, I'm just very much in the mood to read another series. Um, so a lot of you said The Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. So I went ahead and picked up all three books in the trilogy. I hope I can read them all before they're due back at the library, but... I think I can do it because I have until August 8th and today is July 22nd so so here's the first book Clockwork Angel then we have Clockwork Prince and this is my favorite cover this is the third and final book which is Clockwork Princess <laughs> So I wanted to show you what my desk currently looks like before I organize it. So here's what it looks like right now. It's not horrible, but it's not great either. So I think my plan is I'm just going to take everything out and start over. But yeah, I just have like random things in here, like nail polish. I don't know what this is doing in here, but, <laughs> and then a phone case. Um, yeah, definitely needs a little help. So I have different folders so I can organize my paperwork and things like that. And then I finally put all of my highlighters in here. I have my post-it notes, page tabs, my laptop charger. Um, then I just have a couple of different things here. All of my to-do list notepads, my blue light glasses, my bullet journal, my favorite pens that I use for my bullet journal, and then I have my hard drive and my camera charger. Okay, it is now seven o'clock and I have officially finished the Percy Jackson series. I can't believe it's over. <laughs> like. This was such a wild ride. Not only was the final book a wild ride, but just the series as a whole. And I just had so much fun binge reading this throughout the month of July. And yeah, so I just, 
I feel like I'm saying goodbye to a good friend. <laughs> so I'll definitely have to reread the series someday. Um, but moving on to the infernal devices, um, I am so excited. Like I said, I read the first book um, a couple of years ago, but I don't really remember it. So it feels like I'm reading this for the first time. <laughs> also, I realized I forgot to tell you what this is about. This is the prequel to the Mortal Instruments series. So I read City of Bones and City of Ashes in high school. Um, I kind of remember it. I've seen part of the show. Um, so I have a general idea of the universe, so I kind of know what to expect as far as that goes. And this series follows Tessa Gray, an orphan teenage girl who discovers she has the power to shapeshift but doesn't bear a warlock's mark. She is forced to learn how to control this newly established power and navigate the new world she's been thrust into. The series follows Tessa's life as she lives in the London Institute with the Shadow Hunters. So this is urban fantasy, paranormal romance, historical fantasy, and young adult. Okay, ah, I'm so excited. So many of you have said that you just love this trilogy, so I'm sure that I will as well. Also, I'm using my new favorite bookmark. This was made by my friend Victoria. It says, I live in two worlds. One is a world of books, and this is a quote by Rory Gilmore. I am actually watching Gilmore Girls for the first time. I, <laughs> I feel like I'm doing so many like I feel like I'm just catching up on so many things like books and shows that have been around for years and I know it's crazy that I've never seen Gilmore Girls all the way through um, but I'm on season two and I was finally convinced to watch it because my husband Harold is a huge Gilmore Girls fan so we're watching it together so far my favorite character is Luke so anyway I am going to start reading this and I don't know how much time I have to read tonight because I do have to go grocery shopping. So I think I'm just gonna maybe read the first chapter um, and I will give you guys a proper update in my next vlog. <laughs> making a quick drink before I start reading so this is something I've been making that's kind of like the um, like Starbucks refresher so I use the oat creamer and then I use the passion tea so I'm gonna pour the passion tea into here and then I'm gonna do a little bit of creamer. Stir that up. And there you have it, a nice little refresher. 